written in 80 porn films. The mind of a teenage porn star. You would not believe the lengths that teenagers are going to to make money. Why porn? It feels good. Plus, she turned to prostitution at the age of 14. The person could kill you. Kill you. Kill you. And will a mother's confession reveal all? What went wrong? An all new Tyra starts now. Due to the graphic nature of today's show, parental guidance is strongly suggested. I remember when I was growing up that teenagers were getting their first jobs working at fast food restaurants or landing a gig folding t-shirts at the Gap or Contempo or, or Limited. But today, you wouldn't believe the lengths that some teenagers are going to make money. So I'm about to show you as I take you inside the world of teenage porn stars and teenage prostitutes. At a glance, Sasha appears to be your typical fresh-faced teen. You might even mistake Sasha for a middle school student. But while most young women her age are still stumbling to find a paying job, 18-year-old Sasha has already locked into her career as a porn star. Having been sexually active and bombarded by pornographic materials in high school, porn has never been a stranger to Sasha. I started watching porn uh, when I was about 16 and a half. Mostly online internet stuff. Sometimes I'd steal DVDs from my friends. I um, incorporate SM into my sex life. Um, spitting, slapping, choking, punching, sensory deprivation. And they just thought, like most people think, that it's just violent and it's quote unquote abusive, which it's not. I just kept seeing this one dimensional subculture. And my instinct told me, you know, I could do this. People are shocked when I tell them what I do. Within eight months, Sasha has already appeared in over 80 adult films. I talk a lot during my scenes. That's one thing that people know me for. Um, I'm loud and aggressive. Sometimes I name check myself during a scene, because I'm dominant and I'm submissive. So I enjoy receiving pain and I enjoy giving pain. By the end of this year, I'd hope to make around $100,000 to $150,000, not including days I have to take off because I got an infection. Although the money is seductive, this young woman struggles with the trappings of her pornographic life. There's a big market for the young girl type fetish. And especially when you're my age, you get cast in those type of roles. And I believe that if it's going to be done, it should be done and be shown as role play. But at the end of each shoot, Sasha feels that she is taking charge of her life. What I do does make me feel empowered because I, I have a purpose. I represent myself. I don't represent the porn industry. You know, I have outside interests and outside um, goals. Porn is everywhere. No matter how much people want it to go away, no matter how many people want to tell me to stop doing what I do, it's going to be here regardless. So, Sasha, you are 18 years old. Yes. 18 years old and have done 80 porn movies. Around that, yeah. Around that. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at you right now, and you look like somebody that I went to middle school with, like somebody that went to my school, eighth grade. Do you think that is an appeal, that you look so young? Um, I definitely can say that there are there is a market for that, that people want to see the young, fresh face. Um, but I do get typecast sometimes, but I, I would say probably only out of those 80 or so videos have I had to do that probably five or six times. To act like you're younger than you are, to act like schoolgirl. I don't do it, though. I mean, you know, you wear the clothes, you wear the wardrobe, but I try to change that. I don't, you know, I don't want to portray that. That's mm -hmm. not who I am. 
I know some of the things that you did. T tell me about the the 50 year old co-star on the on the set of a movie. Oh, let's see. That was um, the first scene I did, and the uh, very first scene you did. Yeah, my first scene, and um, he was 50 years old. He's he might be a couple years older than that. Yeah. And you were only 18. Mm-hmm. And um, he he's actually one of the most um, well-known porn stars in this industry, um, and it was during uh, a fellatio scene and the oral um, sex. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, he was just telling me, "Oh, I'd like to do this to you. I'd like to do that." And he's he's Italian, so I can't really understand him. And I said, "Oh, would you like to punch me in the stomach? Go ahead." And he was just shocked. He's you know he didn't expect that from me. Mm -hmm. And um, that's the big. Answer. And so you asked him to punch you in your mm -hmm. stomach, and he punched you in your stomach. No, he didn't do it. But you wanted it. Yes. I want you to take me to your um, that very first scene, that very first mm -hmm. sex scene. And what was it like walking on that set? Were you scared? Were um, you nervous? You're 18 years old. The first scene I did, I was nervous the whole day because I just didn't want to mess up. I didn't want to be shell shocked and just sit there like, you know, and have no idea what to do. But once the actual scene started, once I was there in it, I felt completely in my own, mm -hmm. in my own element. And how far will you go? What um, will you, what won't you do? Because I know you well, say you do a lot. Well, I won't do anything that has to do with children and anything that has to do with animals. So you'll have anal sex mm -hmm. on film? I do, almost every scene. Mm -hmm. Every scene? Just about, yeah. And I've heard that you do gangbang scenes. What is a gangbang scene? It's just a large group of men with one girl. And how many guys have been on you at one time in one scene? Um, I did one of those and it was 15 guys. 15 guys on you? How did you tell your family that you were getting into this the first time? What did um, you tell them? It was when I was here for about two weeks. The first two weeks I moved down here and my mom had, a, um, had something to do with work down here. So she said, you know, that's a good chance to come see you. Her and uh, my sister came and I showed them around Hollywood and we went out to eat and when they dropped me off I, I kept trying to think of ways to say it all night but there's really no right way to say that especially to your mother mm -hmm. and um, I just said the real reason I came well I, first I started out by saying I can't expect to get respect from you unless I have the respect to tell you so I said I, the real reason I came down here was to do porn and that's how it went and what, it, what was her response? Oh, God this, God that, oh my God, you know, your body is sacred, it's a temple. Mm -hmm. um, my sister laughed, but I think that's more of the, you know, I'm afraid laugh than a ha-ha funny laugh. But um, This my interview was actually really strange for me, Sasha, because I feel like I'm talking to a young girl. I am talking to a young girl. And you look very young. Um, the things that you're talking about, you talk about them just so lightly. And it's, it's just a lot, and um, we're going to take a break, and um, her boyfriend Ian is here, and we're going to talk to him, and I need to regroup a little bit and um, get this together, because this is very difficult for me. We'll be right back. Up next, a teenager sucked into the seductive world of porn. The question I had to ask. A lot of porn stars have said that they were sexually abused. Were you sexually abused? And the answer, I didn't expect. And later, it's porn star versus porn star. I don't have a pimp, and I'm not a prostitute. Your pimp is sitting next to you. No, oh he's not a pimp. 